Hello, hello, can you hear me? ¿Me escuchan? ¿Me escuchan? Hello, hello. Yes. Good. Okay, welcome. It looks weird. Un poquito de luz. Hoy sí. Creo que se mira mejor. All right, let's start the class. Hello to everyone. Let's start another English class. Vamos a iniciar otra clase de inglés. Si no mal recuerdo y si no mal nos van a dar cuenta, esta sería la sesión número 6. Número 6. De acuerdo, vamos a dar inicio. Se hacen dos minutos mientras los demás compañeros se van agregando. Ok, vamos a recordar los temas que estudiamos el día de ayer. Si mi Adriana nos recuerda qué tema fue el que estudiamos el día en la clase de ayer. Hello, o oh, Miss Jasmine. Se recuerda la clase de ayer, Miss Jasmine. Hello. Hello. Uh, the wearing, de lo que usaban. Ah, uh, wearing, exactly. Utilizamos el verbo wear, que significa vestir. Ok, este verbo, que okay, no es como en español, ¿verdad? Que utilizamos el verbo usar. Ok, que quizás nuestra lógica nos dice, ah, pero puedes decir, I use a jeans, I use a blouse. No, en este caso, utilizamos el verbo vestir, que es wear en inglés. Por eso, por ejemplo, si decimos, estoy, estoy utilizando una camisa negra, vamos a decir, I'm wearing a black t-shirt. A black t-shirt. Ok. La modada, dice mi abuelo. <risa> ¿La qué, perdón? La mudada, dicen los abuelos. Le digo. <risa> La mudada, cabal. Estamos vistiendo, estamos utilizando. Ok, entonces, ese es el verbo que vamos a utilizar. Si usted dice, I use a black t-shirt, eh, sí se entiende, pero no está bien dicho. Así que vamos a utilizar el verbo wear. Wear. Ok, eso es como una de las diferencias, así como cuando usted utiliza el verbo have, que es tener, ¿verdad? Sabemos que para referirnos a la edad en inglés utilizamos el verbo to be, I am 25 years old. I am 30 years old. Es al igual que este verbo. Okay. Um, vamos a esperar quizás unos dos minutos. Mientras los demás compañeros van ingresando y así puedo dar, dar inicio a la clase. Okay. Ok, también en las clases anteriores estamos un poco sobre las preposiciones. ¿Alguien recuerda las preposiciones de lugar? ¿Cuáles son las que recuerdan? Preposiciones de lugar. Por ejemplo, va a decir dentro de. In. Or, behind, on, behind, under, next to. Next to, ¿qué más? Between. Between, very good. Between, next to. Behind. Okay, very good.
Ok, bueno, vamos a tomar la asistencia de esta noche, de esta, noche, de esta tarde, perdón. Um, comenzamos con Velázquez Elías. Blanco de presa. Muy bien. Blanco de presa. Hernández Cardona. Hernández Cardona. Orellana. Alvarado Orellana. Okay. Bautista López. Bautista López. Portillo Genovés. Portillo Genovés. Girón Calzadía. Girón Calzadía. Uh, Centeno Santa María. Martínez Castillo. Present. Hernández Rodríguez. Hernández Rodríguez. Orellana López. Orellana López. Tejada Pineda. Present. Orellana López. Oscar Mauricio. Alemán Cruz. Present. Vázquez Orellana. No, ok. Bueno, vamos a dar inicio. Bueno, vamos a... a ayer eh, vimos el verbo wear. Vimos prendas de vestir. Vamos a recordar, por ejemplo, las prendas de vestir. Dejamos acá. Por ejemplo, tenemos coat. 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 Tenemos shirt. Tie. Belt. Jacket. Pants, suit, blouse, scarf, skirt, high heels, high heel. Okay, raincoat, dress, okay, hat, gloves, sweater, short, boots, sneakers, cap, t-shirt, okay, raincoat, dress, pijamas, and swimsuit. Swimsuit. Ok, una vez más. Shirt, tie, belt, coat, jacket, pants, suit, shoes, um, raincoat, dress, okay, uh, hat, sweater, gloves, jeans, shorts, tuck, sneakers, t-shirt, cap. Ok, raincoat, dress, pijamas. Swimsuit. Ok, ¿qué tipo de ropa podemos utilizar para el warm weather, para el clima caliente? Warm weather. ¿Qué es la ropa que usted recomienda? Utilizar en warm weather. Shorts. Shorts, ok. Shorts, what else? T-shirt. T-shirt, exactly. What else do you recommend to wear on for warm weather? ¿Qué más? ¿Qué otro? Lo que no está es como tipo centro, ¿verdad? ¿Eso los, cómo se lo podría llamar? Los bunk. Los bunk. Exactly, bank, centros. Ok. Eh, ¿Qué tal para el clima frío? For cold weather. For cold weather. Sweater. Sweater. What else? Boots. Boots. Veamos. What else? Hat. Hat. Good. Scarf. Scarf. Ok. And for... Ok. Ok, de todas, esta, de todas estas prendas, ¿cuáles son las que a ustedes les gustan utilizar a, a menudo? O que ustedes utilizan a menudo. No necesariamente que les guste. In my case, I wear, I wear tie, 
tie. I wear shirt, pants, and shoes in my job. How about you, Miss Jasmine? ¿Qué utiliza o qué viste en su trabajo? Uh, my... Beans, shirt, and shirt. Beans. Jeans. Ah, jeans. And shirt. Shirt. And shoes. Shoes. Oh, or not. Uh, sorry. Um, sneakers. 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 Okay. I like um so dress. Dress, okay. How about Miss Adriana? What do you wear? Um, I wear jeans. I wear um I am jeans and t shirt, sneaker. Sneakers, okay. Very good. Para bodas, wearing. ¿Qué utilizan? Wearing. Dress. Yes, I wear in dress. Dress, okay. Skirt. And high heels. High heels, good. Para ir a, a la playa, podemos decir. A un día de vacation. Shorts and bikes. Shorts and? Hey, Ginas tampoco está, o chanclas. Sandals. Sandals. Sandals sería. Mm -hmm. Sandals. Sandals. And hat. Hat, okay. Good. Muy bien. And sunglasses. Sunglasses. Muy importante, sunglasses. Okay, and sunscreen, bloqueador, sunscreen. Sunscreen. Sunscreen, okay. Vamos. Eh, también recordemos los colores. Por ejemplo, vamos a repetir para que se acuerden de la pronunciación. Tenemos red, pink, orange, yellow, light green, green, dark green, light blue, blue. Dark blue. Purple. No, es más. Red, pink, orange, yellow, light green, green, dark green, light blue, blue, dark blue, and purple. Purple. Okay, vamos. Los colores. White. Light gray. Gray. Dark gray, beige, <laughs> light brown, brown, dark brown, and black. Black. Okay, Miss Jasmine, what is your favorite color? My favorite color is yellow and yellow. pink. Pink. Okay, how about Miss Adriana? What is your favorite color? My favorite color is black and red. Black yeah. and red. Excellent. Okay. Black and red. The very color is black. Okay. What color is the, what colors are the gloves? What color? Green. Green gloves. Purple. Purple, what color is the suit? Blue. Blue, okay. What color is the cap? Red. Red, what color is the hat? Purple. Good. Let me see what colors are the socks. Yellow. Yellow, okay, good. Very good. 
Okay, ya o, el color. o brown. No sé si amarillo o, o como brown o yellow. Brown, right? I see brown, light brown. Okay. También vimos esta pequeña conversación. Y dice, it's a disaster. ¿Qué, qué creen que significa disaster? Esto es un desastre. Desastre, exacto. Ok, cuando es, son nuestras primeras veces que lavamos, en ocasiones, cometemos unos desastres okay, con nuestra ropa. Ok, y dice, great, our clothes are dry. Where is my new blouse? What color is it? It's white. Here's a light blue blouse. Is it yours? No, it's not mine. Wait. It's mine. It's a disaster. Oh no. All our clothes are light blue. Here's the problem. It's their new blue jeans. Whose jeans are they? Uh, they are mine. Sorry. Sorry. Okay. Eh, ¿Qué tal si nos ayuda Miss Jasmine y Miss Adriana? Si Pat puede ser Adriana y Miss Jasmine puede ser Julie. Great our clothes are dry. Where is my new blouse? What color is it? Why? Here's a light blue blouse. Here is yours? No. It's not my white. It's it is my is disaster. Oh no! All our clouds are light blue. Here's the problem: is these new blue jeans? Whose jeans are they? Oh, they are mine. Sorry. Good. Excellent. Okay. Uh, let me see. Muy bien. Problem. Good. Okay. También repasamos un poco los posesivos. Los possessives. Dijimos que hay dos tipos de possessive. Está el adjective possessive y está el pronoun possessive. Recapitulemos este ejercicio. Ok, ¿qué tal? No. ¿Is this Jennifer's hat? No, it's not. Hers. Ok. No, it's not hers. No es de ella. It's. What it is. My or mine. It's. Mine. Mine, okay. Are these your gloves or yours gloves? Your. Your, porque no puede ir yours, si fuera yours y si fuera solo. Pero como que hay un artículo, entonces your gloves, tú, guantes. Okay. No, they are not. My or mine gloves? My. My, good. Let's ask mine. Sally. Maybe they are mine. their hair. Hair, good. Okay. Whose or yours t shirt are these? Whose? Whose? The king. The king songs as camisas. Are they Julie's and Pat? Who's? Perdón. They. Their t-shirt or theirs t-shirt. Their. Their. Mm -mm. Their t-shirt. But these socks are their or theirs. Theirs. 
Theirs. Very good. I see. Theirs. Okay, and these shorts are? Yours. Muy bien. Sure. Yours. Hey, these uh, are yours. not? Yours, perdón. Our. Our clothes. You are right. Oh, ours. Ours are over there. Muy bien. Ours. Ours. Excelente. Okay. Possessive adjectives. Possessive adjectives. Okay, vamos a hacer un par de ejercicios para recordar los possessive adjectives. Okay, voy a compartir con ustedes la pantalla. Me indican si lo pueden ver. Ok, vamos a ver cuál es la forma correcta. Les voy a dar un par de minutos para que analicen cuál es la forma correcta. Ok, let's continue. Veamos. En la número uno. It is... 
Is this cup your or yours? Is this cup your or yours? ¿Cuál sería la, la forma correcta? Yours. Muy bien. The coffee is? Mine. Mine. That coat is? Mine. Mine. He lives in? Here. Here. House. You might want your your phone. The new car is theirs. Theirs. She cooked our our food. Don't stand on don't stand Five. on my foot. No se paren mi pie. Don't stand on my foot. She gave him her her suitcase. I met there their mother. Is this their 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 or theirs? There. There. Coffee. Is that flat? Hairs. Hairs. Ok. Creo que ya está bastante eh, digerido el tema. Ok. Muy bien. Excelente. Vamos a continuar con eh, los temas de este día. Ok. Ok, bueno, vamos a continuar con el manual. Ok, acá dice que nos sugiere que hagamos preguntas. Ok, preguntas acerca de eh, la fotografía anterior. Esta fotografía, esta. No sé si ustedes tienen el manual a, al alcance. Ok, Visual, visualicen la imagen. Yo les voy a hacer las siguientes preguntas. Y ustedes me contestan. Si está vistiendo eso, se dice, yes, she is wearing. She is wearing. O she is not wearing. Por ejemplo, is Clary, is Clary wearing a green suit? A green suit? Yes, she is wearing. A green? A green suit. Very good. Uh, is she wearing raincoat? She's not wearing. No, she is not. Oh. But she isn't. She isn't. Okay, is she wearing high heels? Is she wearing high heels? Let me see. Mm. Is she wearing high heels? Yes. She is wearing uh, high heels. Okay, is she... Ah, are Toshi and Noriko wearing swimsuits? Swimsuits. Mm, swimsuit. Picture two, la picture. Picture two. Are they wearing swimsuit? Yes, they are or not they aren't wearing. La fotografía 2, ¿qué están vistiendo? What are they wearing? Sí. 
sorry, what is the question? Yes, sure. In the picture number two, after the fellows, are they wearing swimsuits? Are they wearing swimsuits? Not. No. They are not just wearing swimsuits. Okay, what are they wearing? Just ask them. What are they wearing? They wearing is short and shorts cap cap very good and sneakers sneakers oh, no no eso es sería esos son patines o como rollers uh -huh. Uh -huh. and t shirts yellow and red okay good Vamos con, eh, siempre en la fotografía 2. Are they wearing shorts? Are they wearing sh uh, shorts? Yes. Yes, they are. They are wearing shorts. Wearing shorts. Very good. Vamos con la pregunta 6. Are they, siempre basada en la, fotogra en la fotografía 2. Are they wearing sunglasses? Are they wearing sunglasses? Not. They are not sunglasses. They are not wearing sunglasses. Okay, very good. Muy bien. Vamos a ir al... Okay. What are you doing? Se llama esta unidad. What are you doing? Voy a compartir con ustedes. Segundo. Dame un segundo. Ok, vamos a, voy a practicar, proyectar el video. Ok, este lo pueden encontrar en su manual. Acabamos. And international time zones. Additionally, you will practice a conversation between two people in different time zones. Let's get started by listening to a short audio program to practice different cities around the world. Let's listen and repeat. Vancouver, Los Angeles, Mexico City, Lima, Montreal, New York City, San Juan, Brasilia, Sao Paulo, London, Casablanca, Cape Town, Warsaw, Moscow, Riyadh, Seoul, Bangkok, Tokyo, Sydney. Now let's listen to a conversation which illustrates the importance of understanding different time zones. Let's listen and repeat. Hello. Hi, Debbie. This is John. I'm calling from Australia. Australia? I'm at a conference in Sydney, remember? Oh, right. What time is it there? It's 10 p.m. And it's 4 o'clock there in Los Angeles, right? Yes, 4 o'clock in the morning. 4 a.m.? Oh, I'm really sorry. That's okay. I'm awake now. 
Now it's your time to practice the conversation that we just heard. And also, I would like for you to answer the following questions in our discussion forums. By looking at the map, which cities are in the same time zone? Which cities are in your time zone? Hi, everyone. By the Hi, end of this class, no, you're no, going to talk about different cities and international time zones. Additionally, you will practice a conversation between two people in different time zones. Let's get started by listening to a short audio program to practice different cities around the world. Let's listen and repeat. Vancouver, Los Angeles, Mexico City, Lima, Montreal, New York City, San Juan, Brasilia, Sao Paulo, London, Casablanca, Cape Town, Warsaw, Moscow, Riyadh, Seoul, Bangkok, Tokyo, Sydney. Now let's listen to a conversation which illustrates the importance of understanding different time zones. Let's listen and repeat. Hello. Hi, Debbie. This is John. I'm calling from Australia. Australia? I'm at a conference in Sydney, remember? Oh, right. What time is it there? It's 10 p.m. and it's 4 o'clock there in Los Angeles, right? Yes, 4 o'clock in the morning. 4 a.m.? Oh, I'm really sorry. That's okay. I'm awake now. Now it's your time to practice the conversation that we... Esa es la lectura de la unidad 5. Ok, vamos a ir um, al manual. Ok, vamos a practicar. Y dice, hello, hi Debbie, this is John. I'm calling from Australia. Australia. I'm at conference in Sydney. Remember? All right, what time is, is it there? It's 10 p.m. And it's 4 o'clock there in the Los Angeles, right? Yes, 4 o'clock in the morning. 4 a.m.? Oh, I'm really sorry. That's okay. I'm awake now. All right, we're going to practice this conversation. Let's practice this conversation. Okay. Vamos a practicar por dos minutos. Okay. Let's practice the conversation.
Okay. We're going to practice. We're going to practice the conversation. Vamos a practicar la conversación. Tenemos a Debbie and John. No sé si Miss Jasmine nos puede ayudar siendo Debbie. Y John, no sé si Mr. Kelvin puede ayudarnos siendo John. Yes. Ok, vamos a iniciar en 3, 2, 1, action. Hello. Hi, Debbie. This is John. I'm calling from Australia. Australia? I'm at a conference in Sydney, remember? All right. What time is there? It's 10 p.m. And it's four o'clock there in Los Angeles, right? Yes, four o'clock in the morning. Four a.m. Oh, I'm really sorry. That's okay. I am awake now. That's all. Good. Ahora, si nos ayuda, bueno, no sé si mi Luciana nos puede ayudar. Si está ahí, nos puede ayudar. Siendo eh, Debbie. Okay. Y Miss Adriana, si nos puede ir haciendo John. Hello. Miss Adriana. Ok, yo seré entonces John. Hi, Debbie. This is John. I'm calling from Australia. Australia? I'm at conference in Sydney. Remember? All right. What time is it there? It's 10 a.m. and it's 4 o'clock. There is in Los Angeles, right? Yes. 4 o'clock in the morning. 4 a.m. Oh, I'm really sorry. That's okay. I'm awake now. Excellent. Very good. Thank you for your participation. Muy bien. Uh, siempre en el manual. Ok, vamos a ver un poco sobre las horas. Las horas. Ok, hay diferentes formas de cómo leer el reloj. Ok, por ejemplo, tenemos la forma convencional. It's one o'clock. ¿Qué significa el o'clock? Significa en punto. It's one o'clock. Ok, las cinco en puntos. Five o'clock. Three o'clock. Two o'clock. Ok, four o'clock. Significa en punto. Ok. También tenemos it's one. 105. 105. Ok. It's 105. Significa que son las 1 y la 1 y 5. O también podemos decir it's 5 after 1. Son las 5 después de la 1. Ok. Tenemos dos formas. La forma convencional, 1 y 5 o 5 después de la 1. After. Ok, after okay. significa después. También tenemos it's 1.15. Una, una y 15. O it's a quarter after one. Un cuarto después de la hora. It's a quarter after one. It's 1.30. Ok, una y 30. It's 1.30. It's 1.40. Ok, it's 22. Two. Esa two significa para. Para las dos. Faltan 20 para las dos. It's 22. Two. 20 para las dos. It's 1.45. Son la una y 45. It's 1.45. Or it's a quarter to two. It's a quarter to two. Un cuarto para las dos. Entonces, tenemos dos, tres formas de leer la hora. Una es que usted diga el 1 y 15, ¿verdad? O un cuarto después de la una. O 45 para las dos. Entonces, se puede leer de esa forma la hora. Okay, usted, usted escoge cuál en la forma que usted lo quiera leer. Por ejemplo, eh, look at this clock. What time is it? ¿Qué hora es? En la primera, ¿qué hora cree que es? It's, what time is it? En el primer reloj, ¿cómo lo podríamos leer? 2 p.m. and 20. 2 p.m., el p.m. tal vez al final. 
and two on three, three two, three five. Two twenty, the dos y veinte, si no me equivoco. Mi reloj número uno. Two twenty, right? Twenty, yeah. Okay, y si dijéramos veinte después de las dos. It's twenty after two. It's twenty after two. Muy bien. En el segundo reloj. ¿Qué horas es? Para decir, creo que son las siete y cincuenta. ¿Cómo podemos decir? Seven on fifty. Seven fifty. 7.50. Y si dijéramos 10 para las 8. Ten for the eight. Ten to eight. Ten to eight. Diez para las ocho. Ok, en el reloj 3. Page 40. Ok, 940. 940 en 5, I guess. Es que las agujitas siempre es más complicado leer. Por dos. <risa> Vamos en el 4. It's eight, eight, four, eight, four, 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 It's eleven. Uh -huh. It's eleven. And one, and five, and five. The first one is five. And five, exactly, exactly. And if I say five after the five, five after the five. Eleven. Two eleven. Muy bien. Excelente. La agujita, la agujita. Y el 5 sería. Troy. Troy. Ok, voy a, voy a compartir con ustedes un pequeño video para que vayan visualizando. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn to ask and answer questions using time expressions. Let's get started by looking at some clocks which are expressing the time. Let's listen and repeat. It's one o'clock. It's one o five. It's five after one. It's one fifteen. It's a quarter after one. It's one thirty. It's one forty. It's twenty to two. It's one forty-five. It's a quarter to two. Now, what we want to do is make our own examples by changing the time on those clocks. I'm going to change the time for each and express a different time. Let's do it. Instead of one o'clock, we will say two. Notice that the only thing that we will change is the number for now. It's two o'clock. For our uh, next example, it's 2.05. After that, it's 2.15. Then it's 2.30 or it's half past two. Next, it's 2.40 or it's 20 to three. Our last example, it's 
a quarter to three or it's 245. I would like for you to express the time now. I will give you the numbers and you should write the time. Now I would like to go over some time expressions. Let's listen and repeat. In the morning, a.m. Noon, p.m. In the afternoon, p.m. In the evening, p.m. At night, p.m. Midnight, a.m. Let's uh, practice these time expressions now. Let's listen and repeat. It's 7 o'clock in the morning. It's 7 a.m. It's 12 o'clock. It's 12 p.m. It's noon. It's 4 o'clock in the afternoon. It's 4 p.m. It's 7 o'clock in the evening. It's 7 p.m. It's 10 o'clock at night. It's 10 p.m. It's 12 o'clock at night. It's 12 a.m. It's midnight. In this class, we've covered how to express the time in different ways. It's important that you learn all those different ways to express the time. What I would like for you to do now is to practice expressing the time in different ways. I'll write the expressions and you should work on expressing the time in a different way. For example, it's 9 o'clock in the evening. Another way to express this is by saying it's 9 p.m. Now I would like for you to change these expressions in a different way. It's 8 o'clock in the morning. It's 12 o'clock at night. It's 3 in the afternoon. It's 3 a.m. It's 6 p.m. It's 4 p.m. It's 12 p.m. Okay, now we'll start visualizing one more Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn to ask and answer questions using time expressions. Let's get started by looking at some clocks which are expressing the time. Let's listen and repeat. It's 1 o'clock. It's one o five. It's five after one. It's one fifteen. It's a quarter after one. It's one thirty. It's one forty. It's twenty to two. It's one forty five. It's a quarter to two. Now, what we want to do is make our own examples by changing the time on those clocks. I'm going to change the time for each and express a different time. Let's do it. Instead of 1 o'clock, we will say 2. Notice that the only thing that we will change is the number for now. It's 2 o'clock. For our uh, next example, it's 2.05. After that, it's 2.15. Then it's 2.30 or it's half past two. Next, it's 2.40 or it's 20 to three. Our last example, it's a quarter to three or it's 2.45. I would like for you to express the time now. I will give you the numbers and you should write the time. Now I would like to go over some time expressions. Let's listen and repeat. In the morning, a.m. Noon, p.m. In the afternoon, p.m. In the evening, p.m. At night, p.m. Midnight, a.m. Let's uh, practice these time expressions now. Let's listen and repeat. It's 7 o'clock in the morning. It's 7 a.m. It's 12 o'clock. It's 12 p.m. It's noon. It's 4 o'clock in the afternoon. It's 4 p.m. It's 7 o'clock in the evening. It's 7 p.m. It's 10 o'clock at night. It's 10 p.m. 
It's 12 o'clock at night. It's 12 a.m. It's midnight. In this class, we've covered how to express the time in different ways. It's important that you learn all those different ways to express the time. What I would like for you to do now is to practice expressing the time in different ways. I'll write the expressions and you should work on expressing the time in a different way. For example, it's 9 o'clock in the evening. Another way to express this is by saying it's 9 p.m. Now I would like for you to change these expressions in a different way. It's 8 o'clock in the morning. It's 12 o'clock at night. It's 3 in the afternoon. It's 3 a.m. It's 6 p.m. It's 4 p.m. It's 12 p.m. Good. Okay, we had the practice of um, we had the practice of of time. Okay, so let's continue. Okay, give me a second. Vamos a compartir un pequeño link. Un segundo para compartir con ustedes un link. Okay. Voy a compartir con ustedes un link. Me ayudan compartiéndolo con sus compañeros de grupo para poder practicar la hora. Okay. Acá está la hora. Este es un ejercicio en línea para poder eh, practicar la hora. Tengo el link para poder practicar.
Ok, ¿cómo les fue en el ejercicio? Veamos si lo podemos resolver juntos. ¿Cuál creen que es el primero? Eight o'clock. Eight. Second. It's half past. It's half past. It's half. It's half past seven. It's half past seven, okay. Is it right? Yes. Okay. Eleven. It's eleven o'clock. O'clock, very good. Here, this one. It's twelve o'clock. Well. Okay. Five. It's five o'clock. No lo encuentro. Ah, la bien. segunda. Ok, good. And this one? It's half past ten. It's half past ten. Very good. This one? It's half past six. Okay. It's half past three. Mm -hmm. It's half past one. Ahí no dice la hora exactamente, sino que solo dice pasada hasta la hora, ¿verdad? No dice exactamente la hora. Ah, sí. eh, ¿algún, ¿Algún cambio? Este, falta. Nine o'clock. It's nine o'clock. Veamos cuánto nos sacamos. Ten out of ten. Very good. Muy bien, excelente. Vamos a continuar. Y ahí les queda el link por si quieren practicar más tarde también. Vamos a tomar la, la segunda asistencia de esta tarde. Comenzamos con Velázquez Elías. Presa. Ah, Blanco de Presa. Eh, Hernández Cardona. Alvarado Orellana. Bautista López. Portillo Genovés, Girón Calzadía, Centeno Santa María, Martínez Castillo, Present. Hernández Rodríguez, Orellana López, Tejada Pineda, Present. Alemán Cruz, Vázquez Orellana, Vázquez Orellana. Ok, vamos a continuar. Un minuto. Ok, vamos a seguir practicando las horas. Voy a compartir con ustedes otro link. Hasta el link. Si lo pueden compartir en el grupo. Para poder tener acceso. Vamos a practicar un poco la hora. Ok. 
tengo cuatro. Pero Adriana, Jasmine, Kelvin y Luciana. Creo que ya puedo iniciar, ¿verdad? Ok, aquí vamos. Fue Miss Luciana Alemán. Muy bien. Veamos las preguntas. En este caso, ¿cuál es la forma? ¿Cuál es la hora correcta? Two or ten. Bueno, well, it is ten ten. Muy bien. The next question. Here it is three o'clock. Ok. Ok, good. Bueno, vamos a continuar. Vamos a continuar con las actividades. Un segundo. Ok. Vamos a ver el siguiente video. Esto lo pueden encontrar en la plataforma también. Ok. Y dice... 
Hi everyone, Rising in this class you're learning intonation. about rising and falling intonation in yes or no questions and WH questions. Let's get started by understanding intonation. Pitch is raising and lowering the tone of voice while speaking. The use of pitch is called intonation. Understanding English intonation will increase not only your spoken English competency, but your English comprehension as well. Intonation is used to convey meaning. For example, you have the same set of words in two separate sentences, but in one the meaning may be different than in the other due to intonation. In this class, we'll focus on yes or no questions and WH questions and how intonation gives meaning. Let's listen and practice. Notice the intonation of yes or no and WH questions. Is she getting up? Are they sleeping? What's she doing? What are they doing? Well, there are many exceptions and rules to follow. In general, we can follow these two simple rules. For yes and no questions, there will be a rising intonation. For example, is she getting up? Are they sleeping? For WH questions, there will be a falling intonation. For example, what's she doing? What are they doing? This topic, along with all the other pronunciation topics, require careful listening and to practice. I would like for you to listen carefully to your favorite English TV program and notice the rising and falling intonation of yes or no questions and WH questions. Okay, there we have a video related with the intonation that we have to give or we can give to the yes no question. Vamos a continuar. Okay, vamos a ir un poco de a uh, verbos. Listen and please. In. Vamos a, a poder ver esta página del manual donde hay diferentes actividades. Por ejemplo, tenemos play tennis, ride a bike, run, swim, take a walk, drive, go to movies, shop, read, study, watch television. Watch television. Ok, una vez más, voy a repetir. Play tennis. Ride. Ride a bike. Uh, run. Swim. Take a walk. Dance. Drive. Go to the movies. Shop. Read. Study. Watch television. Ok. Entonces, um, Entonces, para hacerlo en forma progresiva, el presente continuo, vamos a decir, he is playing tennis. He is playing tennis. La fotografía número dos. He is riding a bike. He is riding a bike. Creo que en la tercera es una chica, entonces, she is, she is running, ok, in the park. He is swimming in the pool. She is taking a walk. They are dancing. She is driving. They are going to the movies. He is shopping. She is reading. She is studying. And if finally, he is watching television. Television. Okay. Um... Tenemos una pequeña lectura. Okay, y dice, hi there, hi Meg, what are you doing? I'm sitting on my bed with my laptop computer. I'm doing my homework. What are you working on? I'm writing an essay for a Spanish class. Can you chat for a minute? Where are you? I'm in an internet cafe with my friend Carmen. I'm having coffee, coffee, coffee. 
and she is reading a magazine. How is your family? They are all fine. My father's working outside. He is mowing the lawn. My mother is out shopping. Where is your brother? John, not home. John's not home. He is playing soccer in the park. Oh, wait. My brother is home. She's calling me. I have to go. Bye-bye. Okay. Veamos, una vez más. Hi there. Hi, Meg. What are you doing? I'm sitting on my bed with my laptop computer. I'm doing my homework. What are you working on? I'm writing an essay for a Spanish class. Can you chat for a minute? Where are you? I'm in an internet cafe with my friend Carmen. I'm having coffee and she's reading a magazine. How is your family? They are all fine. My, my father's work outside. He's mowing the lawn. My mother is out shopping. Where are your brother? John's not home. He's playing soccer in the park. Oh, wait. My mother is home. She's calling me. I have to go. Okay, bye. Bye. Entonces, después de la, después de la conversación, lo que vamos a hacer es contestar quién está haciendo cada acción. Okay. ¿Quién está haciendo, por ejemplo, quién está escribiendo el S? S es como un ensayo. ¿Quién está tomando el café? ¿Quién está leyendo la, la magazine, la, la revista? ¿Quién está trabajando afuera? ¿Quién está comprando? ¿Quién está jugando eh, fútbol? Entonces vamos a leer la lectura, vamos a practicar la lectura y vamos a contestar las preguntas de abajo. Okay, aquí vamos.
Hi everyone, in this class you'll read an online chat and develop skills in reading for details. So let's get started. Reading Friends Across a Continent Meg Martin and Kathy O'Brien chat online almost every day. Meg is an exchange student from the U.S. She is studying in Mexico. Kathy is in the U.S. Hi there. Hi, Meg. What are you doing? I'm sitting on my bed with my laptop computer. I'm doing my homework. What are you working on? I'm writing an essay for Spanish class. Can you chat? For a minute. Where are you? I'm in an internet cafe with my friend Carmen. I'm having coffee and she's reading a magazine. How is your family? They're all fine. My father's working outside. He's mowing the lawn. My mother is out shopping. Where's your brother? John's not home. He's playing soccer in the park. Oh, wait. My mother is home. She's calling me. I have to go. Okay, bye. Bye.
Hello. Hello, hello. Quedé solo en la sala, creo que se le desconectó a la compañera. Bueno, bueno, ya vamos a... Hello. <laughs> bueno, vamos a, um, a escuchar la conversación por última vez. Antes... Hi everyone. In this class, you'll read an online chat and develop skills in reading for details. So let's get started. Reading. Friends across a continent. Meg Martin and Kathy O'Brien chat online almost every day. Meg is an exchange student from the U.S. She is studying in Mexico. Kathy is in the U.S. Hi there. Hi, Meg. What are you doing? I'm sitting on my bed with my laptop computer. I'm doing my homework. What are you working on? I'm writing an essay for Spanish class. Can you chat? For a minute. Where are you? I'm in an internet cafe with my friend Carmen. I'm having coffee and she's reading a magazine. How is your family? They're all fine. My father's working outside. He's mowing the lawn. My oh. mother is out shopping. Where's your brother? John's not home. He's playing soccer in the park. Oh, wait. My mother is home. She's calling me. I have to go. Okay, bye. Bye. Okay. Okay, okay, good. Vamos a, um, a proyectar la conversación. Y decimos... Ok, lo voy a ver. Es, no sé si Miss Jasmine nos puede ayudar. Siendo Meg y Mr. Kelvin. No sé si puede ser Kathy. Sí. sí. Ok, vamos. 3, 2, 1, action. Hi there. Hi, Meg. What are you doing? I'm sitting on my bed with my laptop computer. I'm doing my homework. What are you working on? I'm writing an essay for Spanish class. Can you shut? For a minute. Where are you? Where are you? I'm on internet coffee with my friend Carmen. I'm having coffee and she's reading a magazine. How is your family? They are fine. My father's working outside. He's mowing the loud. My mother is out shopping. Where is your brother? John's not, uh, not home. He's playing soccer in the park. Oh, wait. My mom is home. She's calling me. I have to go. Okay, bye. Bye. Ok, good. Ok, eh, ¿qué es? Let me see. Aquí vamos a, vamos a, vamos a publicar. Doing. What are you doing? ¿Qué estás haciendo? Exactly. What are you doing? Doing. 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 Ok. Eh, let me see. What are you working on? What are you working on? ¿En qué estás trabajando ahora? What estás are trabajando? you working on? Exactly. I'm writing an essay. Estoy escribiendo un ensayo. I'm writing, I'm writing an essay. An essay. Okay. Eh, let me see. 
Reading. ¿Qué es reading? Leyendo. Leyendo. Ok. Reading magazine. Y ahí por donde dice internet. Porque dice café y en la otra dice coffee. I'm in internet café with my... I mean, ah, es que... ¿Saben qué es un internet café? Ah. Yeah. Es como... Ahora. En las películas lo he visto, creo. Es que el internet café es como los ciber. No sé si se acuerdan uh -huh. de los ciber. Se llaman ciber café. Mm. Eso es un internet café. Y coffee es en la bebida. Entonces están tomando un café en el ciber café. Mowing. Mowing es... es apodar. Apodar. Apodar la... Apodar la grama, el sacate, todo eso. Mowing. Ah, apodar. Apodar. El shopping, sí, ¿verdad? Comprando. Comprando. Eh, let me see. Soccer es otra forma de llamarle al fútbol. Dígame. No, no, nothing, nothing. Ok. Veamos. Entonces, ¿quién está escribiendo el essay? Who's writing the essay? Patio. Who is having a coffee? Right. Um, is Katio. Okay. Who is reading the magazine? Carmen. 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 Good. Who is working outside? Patio. El padre de, de el padre de Katio. Exactly. Who is shopping? Who is shopping? Mother Katio. Um, Okay. Who is playing soccer? John. 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 Good. Ok. Muy bien. Entonces, ¿cómo está compuesto el presente continuo? El presente continuo son actividades que hacemos en, por ejemplo, ahorita mismo. O un, pres o un futuro muy cercano. Por ejemplo, I am sleeping. Por ejemplo, en esta fotografía. What's Victoria doing? Repeat after me. What's Victoria doing? What's Victoria doing? She's, she's sleeping. She's sleeping right now. Right now. What's Marcos doing? It's 6 a.m., so he is getting up. Levantando. He is getting up. Se está levantando. He is getting up. What are Sue and Tom doing? They are having breakfast. Having breakfast. What Cecilia is doing? Celia. She's going to work. She's going to work. What are James and Annie doing? In noon, en la, en la mediodía, Noon, so they are having lunch. What Andre doing? He's working. Okay. Uh, he is. What's Pemsak doing? He is eating dinner. What's Hiroshi, Hiroshi, doing? He is watching television. What are you doing? ¿Qué está haciendo? Por ejemplo, si yo le dije a, le dije a Miss Jasmine, ¿qué está haciendo? What are you doing? ¿Cómo me contestaría? I am... I am... Reading conversation. Ok, having a conversation, watching TV, playing soccer. I watching am, my laptop. Or you're computer. watching your laptop. I'm studying English. I'm doing exercise. Ok, very good. Vamos... A tomar la última asistencia. Ok, comenzamos con... Bueno, permítame, permítame. Ok, bueno, antes de ir les voy a, dejar, les voy a colocar el video para que puedan escuchar la pronunciación también de la actividad. 
Hi everyone. In this class, you'll learn to ask and answer present continuous questions. Additionally, we will practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation between a boy and his mother, which illustrates WH questions in context. Let's listen and practice. Hi, Mom. What are you doing, Steve? I'm cooking. Why are you cooking now? It's two o'clock in the morning. Well, I'm really hungry. What are you making? Pizza. Mmm, pizza. Now I'm getting hungry. Let's eat. Now, let's try to make sense of present continuous WH questions. We will typically use present continuous WH questions whenever we want to get information from an action that is in progress. For example, what are you doing right now? To form WH questions, we need to follow this formula. WH word plus verb to be plus subject plus the verb plus ing plus some kind of complement. If we look at the images on the screen, you can see a few WH questions. Let's analyze the first one. What's Victoria doing? We have a WH word, what. Then we have the verb to be, is. After that, we have the subject, Victoria. After that, we have the uh, verb in its ing form. And then we have a question mark. Then, of course, you can see the question being answered. She's sleeping now. Now, we're going to listen to the rest of the questions and answers. Let's listen and repeat. Los Angeles, 4 a.m. What's Victoria doing? She's sleeping right now. Mexico City, 6 a.m. What's Marcos doing? It's 6 a.m., so he's getting up. New York City, 7 a.m. What are Sue and Tom doing? They're having breakfast. Brasilia, 9 a.m. What's Celia doing? She's going to work. London, 12 noon. What are James and Anne doing? It's noon, so they're having lunch. Moscow, 3 p.m. What's Andre doing? He's working. Bangkok, 7 p.m. What's Permsak doing? He's eating dinner right now. Tokyo, 9 p.m. What's Hiroshi doing? He's watching television. Your city. What are you doing? It's. So I'm. The last thing that I would like for you to do is to look at the end. Okay, well, this is the present, the simple present continue. Vamos a ver en la siguiente. Vamos a ver en la siguiente clase, más a fondo, vamos a practicar más el presente continuo. Bueno, solo está Miss Pineda, va a tomar la asistencia rápida. Eh, eh, Martínez Castillo y Miss Pineda. Ya tomé la asistencia. Así que, see you next class. Have a good one. Bye bye and enjoy your weekend. Disfruten su fin de semana. Nos vemos. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye bye.